Have the patient sit in the chair and move in close to the device. Pull up the existing patient record by typing in the first few letters of their last name. Then select the appropriate patient and press the capture button at top right. Tapping on the question mark at the bottom right hand corner of the screen launches an animated video that demonstrates what the patient will see when they look into the device and how to determine when they are correctly aligned. When the video is finished, tap the close button. If you are using an adjustable table, set the height to allow the patient to visualize the blue alignment target inside the eye opening from where they are sitting. If you are using an adjustable chair, set the chair height as to allow the safe movement of the patient in toward the instrument. Have the patient hold the hand grips on each side and move forward, keeping the light in the center of their field of view with both eyes open, pressing their forehead in and rolling their cheek until the light goes green. Then an image will be taken if auto capture is active. If the image is not satisfactory, you may choose discard, then delete, which will permanently delete the image. You may prefer to keep all images and wait until the end of the session to delete. You should be able to guide your patient into correct position with verbal instructions. Have them turn their head slightly and using the eye to be imaged, center the blue alignment target in their field of view and move closer by pushing their forehead in until the alignment target turns green and an image is captured. Notice that the screen is divided into five areas with the wide field image at top left, a cropped image of the central pole at top right, bottom left shows the alignment camera and indicates if patient was within optimal range for capture, too far in or too far out, bottom right shows image type and allows the operator to assign appropriate laterality, and at the very bottom are the keep and discard tabs. If you are satisfied with the captured image, Choose right or left eye, then keep. Auto capture is very quick and may occasionally produce an image that is not properly aligned or shows too much lid and lash. You can disable auto capture by tapping the screen here as shown. To manually capture images, the operator will tap the touchscreen when the patient is positioned correctly. The alignment circles and crosshairs will start out blue as the patient moves in then change to green when close enough on the z-axis. If they turn red, the patient is too close and should be instructed to move back slightly. When the circles are green and the pupil is centered on the crosshairs, ask the patient to open both eyes wide, then tap the center of the screen to capture. If you have issues with lid and lash, you may choose to change the eyepiece. Each Daytona comes with a small and large eyepiece. To exchange, Simply grasp between your thumb and index finger and gently pull to remove. Then insert the other eyepiece and snap into place. If you wish to review an image, touch the thumbnail and it will bring you back to the capture screen, where you can switch laterality if necessary. To capture autofluorescent images, tap the button labeled red-green, then select AF. Instruct the patient to align themselves in the same manner as for color images, reminding them to keep both eyes wide open as they center up the target and slowly press inward until it turns green and an image is captured. If you are not satisfied with an image, you can keep it and take another image. At the end of the session, you can select any images you wish to discard by tapping the thumbnail, then select Discard and Delete. When the imaging session is complete, choose Finished Patient, which saves the images and moves them over to the server. The Daytona system allows you to capture a screening Optimap or an Optimap Plus, which is a higher resolution image for a medically necessary procedure. If this feature is available on your system, Simply touch the bottom left tab and select Optimap Plus to activate. Here is some guidance for use on patients with epilepsy. The device uses flashes of laser light. Some patients with epilepsy may be sensitive to flashes of light. 
Caution should be exercised for patients who have a history of reaction to camera flashes or strobe lighting.